I know myself inside that I have got potential, but I didn't get any chance. The number one thing that I heard from all over the community was so many of the children didn't have an opportunity to study. When you think of what becomes sustainable, education is sustainable. Before Seoul started, the society was very individual. No one worked together. And now you see them working together. And they know as a team they could do a lot more than they could ever do individually. Hello, we are Seoul Foundation Uganda. My name is Mithali Pinto and I'm the country director. My name is Mugala Mzamil and I'm the program officer. Uganda being one of the youngest population with about 75% under the age of 30 and 10% 10, 10 of this population is able to complete secondary school. Soul Foundation is located in the rural areas of Jinja City and most of the schools that live around us do not have access to practical skills in computer. Seoul has identified a solution to this problem. We are, have a computer lab equipped with desktops and laptops where we not only conduct classes for the community, for adults and young learners, but we also have students from our partner schools attend classes over here. And this is primarily to complement the theoretical part of their ICT curriculum. So right here in this lab, they have access to the practical skills and we have an in-house uh, computer trainer who conducts these classes. And we are very excited to partner with Team for Tech and help uh, convert this lab into a fully functional 23-seater uh, computer lab where we can engage with more community learners in the rural location where we are and also partner with more Seoul schools so learners at the secondary level can come to the lab and learn the practical part of their ICT curriculum. So thank you team for tech. We look forward to enabling over 2,500 learners gain very fundamental computer skills over the next five to six years. <laughs>